Hi guys, Miss Hip Hop here. Um, just to give a disclaimer for this uh, particular episode, there is a lot of um, different content that we're speaking of, and I'm re- I'm um, repeating a lot of lyrics from Megan Thee Stallion's album. So I just want to let you know if you are under the age of seventeen, I would not listen to this episode. Like regardless, you know what I'm saying. Um, just a little disclaimer: is a lot of um, content being um repeated from the album Megan Thee Stallion Traumatized so just want to let y'all know that and if you're under the age of 17 please exit the episode right now and you can only listen to the hardcore lyrics from Spotify so make sure you got your account your free account and listen and rate this podcast five stars if you're digging what I'm saying thank you Miss Hip Hop out peace We're not against rap. We're not against rappers. But we are against those. Something big about to happen. I hear the beat tapping. We some fly rum and felines rapping on the track. Better yet, grab a gap, cause we hot like. And so, doors closed, windows up, cause that's the way we like to ride. Windy City hitting. Check mic 1212. We live, baby. It's Kaylee Cuoco for Priceline. Ready to go to your happy place for a happy price? Well, why didn't you say so? Just download the Priceline app right now and save up to 60% on hotels. So whether it's Cousin Kevin's Kazoo concert in Kansas City, go Kevin! Or Becky's Bachelorette Bash in Bermuda. You never have to miss a trip ever again. So download the Priceline app today. Your savings are waiting. Go to your happy place for a happy price. Go to your happy price. Priceline. What's up, Chicago, and welcome back to another lit music review with your hostess with the mostest, Miss Hip Hop, aka Queen Star. And y'all, Megan the Stallion just dropped her sophomore LP to all the hotties. Traumamize. I think I said that right. Traumamize on Friday, August 12th at midnight. Of course, we here in Chicago on Central Standard Time, so <laughs> we received the bombshell news an hour earlier. Now back to the program. The album's name, Traumamize, is just like the word traumatized, which means self-realization of facing mixed emotions to shocking life events faced in one's lifetime which definitely fits Megan Thee Stallion with all the ups and downs with her lingering ongoing record label issues in reference to her contract with 1501 Certified Entertainment. It's a hot mess, y'all, okay? Free Meg, free the music, dang. Megan Thee Stallion tweeted, and I quote, y'all know I always have problems with dropping my music under this label, all these games and having to go to court just to put out my artwork has been so stressful. Thank you, Heidi's, for rocking with me through the bullshit. We almost out. Let's stay focused and run this one, this last one up. <laughs> period. <laughs> I added the period, but yeah. Speaking of which, staying focused Let's refocus on Megan Thee Stallion's cover artwork, which also added on extra stress to the album release. The black and white cover of Megan Thee Stallion's three-part face from not smiling to screaming in anguish caused a bit of disappointment for Meg because like parts of her songs were leaked, so was the artwork itself. I believe this caused the three-time Grammy winner to put out the sophomore record even faster. Speaking of which, let's talk about the many infamous features listed on Megan Thee Stallion's track list. Now, although this information was already circulating, adding extra stress to the Plan B rapper, here's some of the many guest features on the 18-track song list of Traumamize, including previously previously released tracks like Sweetest Pie with Dua Lipa and Future Persilicious as well as songs with Janae Eichel, Rico Nasty, Pooh Shiesty, and more. So let's get into the album, gang. 
shall we? I'm strictly picking through songs that caught my attention. So I'm going to start with Not Nice. Now, this song's hook definitely is a bit spicy and alluring because Meg expresses her feelings about not being modest anymore, not being humble because she knows she is that girl. She says, fuck it, bitch. I'm not nice. Fuck it, bitch. I'm not nice. I'm the shit. I'm done with being humble because I know that I'm that bitch. Fuck it, bitch. I'm not nice. Fuck it, bitch. I'm not nice. I'm the shit. I'm done with being humble because I know that I'm that bitch. Period. Okay. I added the period on again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, look. (laughs) In this track, she definitely was throwing her bows at her previous relationships with significant others and best friends. So the quest remains, who shot Meg? Let's play a snippet of Not Nice, only on Spotify. Let's talk about the next song, shall we? (laughs) It's called Who Me, featuring Pooh Shiesty. I like this song because I like the artist choice from Chicago, Pooh Shiesty. And his songs seem to always be lit, but in short, in minutes. Yeah. Y'all remember Big Purr? Make you want to hit the repeat repeat button with this record, too, Who Me. Meg also released some visuals on many of her tracks. And I wasn't too much feeling the visuals for this song because as talented talking as Meg is, she could definitely use a switch up with her style a bit, you know? I get it, sexual empowerment. However, let's talk about some of the other topics and give me some fresh, something fresh other than the same old, same old time at the time, bent over. Like, I just, I don't know. Anyway, that's just my opinion. I love Meg Thee Stallion, just not in love with everything she says or does. I know you're going to dig this. Back to the program. Moving on to the next song. Despite all the legal drama, Megan Thee Stallion teams up with R&B singer Janae Eichel on this track, Consistency, which to me holds the thickness of this album together because it's different and involves some dope vocals from the sis Janae Eichel. In this song, Meg takes no bullshit from guys. She has a high demand of being treated the way she wants her body pleased through consistency. Here's a small snippet now only heard on Spotify. Oh my God. The music just turns me on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Let's talk about the track Ungrateful featuring Key Glock. This song was funny as hell to me because Megan Thee Stallion was going the hell off. Oh my God, I know Oh, what she just said. She said, bitch, knew a little business, want to put it in the news. They'll take it to the net. But I'm going to take it to the booth. Give a bitch an inch, she'll take it to the moon. (laughs) Hoes love to stir the pot, and I'm going to get a bitch a spoon. (laughs) Bitch, I'm the one. You ain't even the two. (laughs) You would never be you if if I wasn't your muse. Period. Like, seriously, I get it, for sure. Dang, man, she was really going hard on those, um, those lyrics. You know, they always see uh, uh, going hard on those people who always seemingly you know be against her and I really respect the dialect and the infrastructure of these cold ass lyrics now let's play a snippet now hi guys thank you so freaking much for taking your time out to rate this podcast on Spotify and following me on Pandora iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, and many, many more platforms. I love you guys so much. Peace be among you. 